I'm Michael Cerverus, and I play Bruce Bechtel in Fun Home. Bruce Bechtel is the father of the family. He wears a lot of hats. He has uh, he runs the family funeral home. He's also a high school English teacher. He's also has a love of doing all kinds of restoration. So he's restored the Victorian home that the family lives in in Beach Creek, Pennsylvania. He's also been a closeted gay man his whole life. I've had a lot of demanding parts before, but I don't think I've ever had anything that has been as difficult night after night uh, to carry around with me as Bruce. It may be because there's no release in this. Bruce gets to the the precipice of maybe understanding something about himself, and at that moment, his story ends. I think that's a lot of what makes it uh, such an emotionally draining thing to do. I have a lot of photographs around the dressing room. Some of them are pictures of my own family in the period of the that's covered by the show in the 70s. Um, a lot of them with me trying desperately to be David Cassidy. These photos are all of the actual Bechtel home in, in Pennsylvania. I'm such a dog person. My dog Gibson, who I adopted when I was doing Tommy, passed away about, I guess, almost five years ago now. And maybe it's just sort of the emphasis on family and home and everything that this play is. Um, I just started really noticing the absence of, uh, of a little furry creature in my house. I named her Evangeline. She seems to love everything about being a theater dog. David Zinn's costumes for the show are so great. My dad, you know, wore those kinds of outfits. And um, so it's very 70s, hip professor sort of uh, wear. His appearance and what he, how he wanted to present himself to the world was extremely important to him. It's why the scene where Allison says, you're wearing a girl color is just devastating to him. He didn't want to draw attention uh, unnecessarily. This part has taken everything that I've learned in the past 30 plus years since I got out of college. I feel like I'm in exactly the role and the production and the story that I'm supposed to be doing. That and the fact that it's resonating the way it does with people. It feels like we're just getting started.